वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज सम प्रॉब्लम ऑफ डेरिवेटिव एंड एंड हेयर इज वन लिमिट वन टू थ्री लिमिट्स हेयर टू लिमिट्स हेयर एंड इट इज यूज हेयर डेरिवेटिव सो सो हेयर आई इंट्रोड्यूस हेयर द सेवन प्रॉब्लम सी फर्स्ट आई फॉलो द सिक्स क्वेश्चन सिक्स नंबर क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन Um, see that the uh, allocation is given that with the variable of x, y, z, uh, but the three variables. So we see that the here d x, d y, d z. So here the three variables. Uh, so x square y square j square uh, plus 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 minus two x y z equal to one. Okay now we have to show the d x by root over uh, over root over one minus x square plus d y over root over one minus y square d z <coughs> over root over one minus x square equal to zero. We now see and. Write the question number six here. X square plus y square plus z square minus two x y z is equal to one. And differentiate both side. Okay, differentiate both side. Okay. Uh, if we differentiate uh, a x square, that is we get two x dx. And without respect, okay, twice y and dy, and twice z and dz. Okay. And now this is here. Uh, differentiate x, therefore the y z is unchanged here, and differentiate y, so x z is unchanged here, and differentiate z, uh, that is dz, okay, and x y is unchanged here, okay, and and differentiation of one is zero, so two 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 are taken common and this is cancelled. Up now x, that is x dx, and here is dx. So that is x minus y z, and this is here dx. Same as y minus x z, and this is here dy. And same as z minus x y, and this is dz here, and this is equal to zero. So from here, uh, now we have to find the expression of x minus y z. Then we other Uh, similarly, okay. Now, if we square this term, then we get here x square. That is our y square, z square, minus twice x y z. And this is a uh, x square, z uh, y square, z square, and two x y z. Now, find here, mm -hmm. find here. That is x square and minus twice x z. This is our x square minus twice x z. And replace in place of that. And this is here x square, and this is equal to one minus y square minus z square. We have substitute here is one minus y square minus z square, and factorize this expression like if I uh, take a common like one minus uh, y square here, and this is minus z square. So therefore here is one and z square, and that is one minus and y square. Therefore the factor two factor that is one minus y square, and this is a one minus z square, and therefore. And this is their square, so we uh, get uh, the degree here is gone, so here is two. So but x minus y z, and this is equal to under root of uh, this. This is one minus y square and root of and uh, root of one minus this is z square. And similarly, we can write similarly, and therefore uh, y minus uh, x z, and that is equal to root of what of this is here. Uh, this is y x y z, and this we get here y z. So if we if here upper y z, then we are, on the right hand side there is the variable y z. So here is x y. So we can write here one minus x square under root and root over one minus z square. And similarly, uh, that is here um, uh, z minus x y, and this is equal to root over one minus x square and root over one minus y square. And this is one, and this is here one. And this is two, and this is three. This is here three, and this is here four. So uh, we get from one, two, three, and four. So therefore, and substitute uh, this in substitute this in place of this uh, two. Question number one. So again, right hand like. One, two, three, 
and 4, okay, we get here. So, uh, that is uh, root over of 1 minus y square, root over of 1 minus z square, that is dx. So, again, this root over of 1 minus x square, root over of 1 minus z square, that is yeah, dy. And same as root over, this is 1 minus x square, and root over of 1 minus, uh, that is here, y square and this is dz and on the both side divided by uh, the factor uh, root over of this root over 1 minus x square root over 1 minus y square and root over 1 minus and z square and 0 by this is 0 so this by this we get here so implies dx root over 1 minus x square same as dy root over 1 minus y square and dz root over 1 minus j square is equal to this is a very good question okay see carefully and left it see <coughs> again here is now 3 variable I repeat here again here is the 3 variable and differentiate both sides take nothing with respect to some uh, okay now uh, differentiation of x square x square twice x dx y square twice y dy same as j square twice dz okay like that and see the technique here Okay. Now, question, follow the question number 7 here. Follow the question number 7. This is here. Y is equal to sine inverse 2t by 1 plus t square. And here, uh, t is more than 0, more than 1. Uh, let t is on tan theta okay therefore tan theta is more than 1 therefore theta is more than 5 by 4 so if you multiply uh, um, by 2 so if you multiply by 2 uh, that is uh, 2 theta is greater than pi by 2 okay so now uh, this is here y equal to sine inverse 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta so you can write here sine inverse sine theta as we see the this is their positive this is as we can see that the, this is their positive sine is positive on first and all as as we see that the 2 theta is 2 theta lies in the second ordinate so that's why we can uh, write here like sine inverse this is so in that cell, okay, this is 2 pi minus 2 theta. So you can write here pi minus 2 theta. Therefore, pi minus 2 into theta. Theta means you can write here tan inverse t. So this is here y. So differentiate this with respect to uh, t here, and that is equal to minus 2 by root 1. I uh, know this is uh, 1 plus t square here. Okay. And now for the second, now for the second it is here x is equal to tan inverse 2t by 1 minus t square. So we can write here, so that is tan inverse 2 tan t theta by 1 minus, so this tan square theta. So that's why tan inverse tan 2 theta. But this is lying the second ordinate. So from this cases we see that the lies on the second ordinate. Okay, uh, uh, as you know, that is the negative, that is the negative. So, how can it is the negative single line? Like that, if we write like now, so tan inverse uh, tan uh, pi minus 2 theta, so we get here minus, so we can take a minus negative sign, and also we can um, write like this tan inverse tan pi minus 2 theta. So, and this is equal to pi minus 2 theta and that will be minus pi plus 2 theta and this is minus pi plus 2 into tan inverse t so you can uh, differentiate dx dt and this is here 2 by 1 plus t square and therefore so dy dx that is dy dt divided by dx dt here so this is equal to this is equal to uh, minus 2 by 
1 plus e square by 2 by 1 plus 2 square, okay? And that is equal to minus 1, okay? So, this is the answer. And now, follow the uh, first question. Now, follow the first question. See carefully, very interesting question. Students, see carefully, very important question, 6 and 7. Okay, for the computing exam, join IT and AdSense and other exam. Okay, see carefully. And in my next video, we have to discuss about the domain. Okay, about the some domain have given there. So, uh, what is the value of differentiation? This is the main important point. And okay, now uh, the subject here is the next point is one. It's a so easy question, but uh, I need to introduce with you uh, all of you, our students here. F of x and this is g of x and this is f and this is here h of x and see here l m n a b c and this is their differentiation of y this is dy dx so you can write f dash x d dash x h dash x okay therefore l m n a b c are unchanged and another f of x is unchanged, g of x is unchanged, h of x is unchanged, and difference of the second row, this is 0, 0, 0, a, b, c are unchanged. Again, differentiation, unchanged is f of x and g of x and h of x, and then uh, unchanged l, m, n, and this is 0, 0, 0. C, these two row, uh, this first row, uh, second row of the first, second determinant, and third row of the second determinant is 0, so value of this determinant is 0. So you have left here, and that is f dash uh, x here and g dash x here and h dash x and and this is l m n and a b c this is the answer c okay now for the second question The second question. Say so, this is a limit given that f of a is equal to three, f of f dash a is equal to two, g of a is equal to one, and g dash a is equal to five. And is it given that limit extends to a, g of x, f of a g of a f of x by x minus a okay and the easiest method is we have to use the a hospital uh, rules students see here if we put the value of a here then we get here a g of a and a for b g of a and a for b and their difference is zero so if we put uh, the uh, extent string here so we get here zero so this is zero by zero form okay so we can apply the a hospital rules apply apply L hospital rules. Okay, see what is the rules here? Students, see carefully. We want to introduce here the rules of L hospitals. If we directly put on the numerator, we get if we get the zero zero form. So we apply the L hospital rules. And rule here is differentiate on the numerator and differentiate on the denominator part. Separate, not even the method. Okay, again repeat. As uh, we say that uh, again, uh, this type of a discussion was introduced in the some video, so that's why again I say that this is a repeat. Okay, this is f of a, and this is a constant that is that's why g of a, and this is f dash x. Okay, if we differentiate this is one. So now put here g dash a and f of a. So a g of a and f dash a here. So g dash a, g dash a here is means five. A of A, A of A means 3, G of A, G of A means is here 1, F dash A, F dash A is 2 here, so 15 minus 2, this is 13, okay, okay, same um, questions, uh, that is here, see carefully, okay, now, same problem, this is number 5, we have to uh, discuss with you, uh, if you have given the 5, this is, okay, this is an f dash 4, okay, and this is 5. And again, let's say, this is extends to 2, and this is f of 4 minus f dash 4, okay, this is f dash x. 
pi x square, sorry, this is x square, pi x minus 2. So you can see, if you put 2 here, 0, if we put 2 here, this is 0 by 0 form. So we can apply, apply L hospital rules, okay? Okay, see, rules here is differentiate numerator and numerator separately. So this is constant like 0. This is here, sorry, this is f of x square, so we derivative this f does x square. Again, differentiation x square, that is twice x. If we differentiate this, then we get here 1. So put here, that is minus 4 f does 4. So this is here f does 4, given that this is 5 here. So minus 4 into 5. This is minus 20. Okay. Okay, see. Now for question number third. Now for question number third here. This is x root over 1 plus y and y root over 1 plus x equal to 0. So squaring uh, actually uh, need to be simplified. So this is like this. So we can uh, find any factor. So squaring both sides. So you get here x square and this is here this and we get here y square. This is our plus x. Okay. Now x square plus uh, x square y minus y, y square and y square x is equal to 0. So take a factor x square minus x minus y x plus y and also I take a common here x y. So we get here x minus y equal to 0. So x minus y and here x plus y plus x y is equal to 0. If we take x minus y as a 0, then x equal to y and put this equation, so it does not satisfy this equation. So x can never be y equal to. Therefore, uh, we can take as a factor that is x plus y and uh, that is x y is equal to 0. So from that we have to find the value of, in, uh, in form of, uh, take a common y here and subject to the x, okay? We find the value of y and subject to the x is this. And now see that we have to show the dy by dx is this. On the right hand side there is a with respect to y here, okay, uh, x there, okay. Now find uh, dy by dx and this is as the uyg method. So this is here x by 1 plus x, okay, minus, so this has a whole square and the v square 1 plus x into d dx of x1 is 1. And also x and 1 plus x derivative is here is 0 and 1. Okay. Now see 1 plus x uh, minus uh, x by 1 plus x whole square here. So this is here minus. So it is the answer 1 plus x. Okay. Whole square. This is the answer. And the next problem is here 4. Next problem is here 4. See, um, this is here question number four. Uh, it is very easy as question. Uh, see here, uh, there is a condition is given that the one plus x plus x square and x to the by n minus one is a. This is the sum of GP series. And if we differ derivative, uh, differentiate this, we get the relation is this. Uh, derivative of one is zero. Derivative of x is one. Derivative of x square is two x square. And x cube is three x square. So we got the. And also they differentiate the right hand side. Then we got the answer is this. So let's see, right, uh, this is question number 4. 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube. And dot 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 dot. And this is x to the power n minus 1. And this is equal to 1 minus x to the power n by 1 minus x. Okay. Okay. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. Then here 0. This is here 1. This is here 2x. So this is 3x square. And this is here n minus 1 into x to the power n minus 2. Okay. Okay, this is ddx of 1 minus x to the power n by 1 minus x. So this is equal to u by v. So this is 1 minus x whole square and this is your 1 minus x and ddx of uh, that is 1 minus x to the power n. And this is your 1 minus x to the power n and ddx of 1 minus x here. So this is the answer and simplify uh, with the basic idea that is here 1 minus x, this is here 0 and this is here n into x to the power n minus 1 and also this is here 1 minus x to the power n and this is here 0 minus 1, okay, derivative of 1 is 0 and x is 1, 
Okay, now uh, this is we can write here one minus x whole square, and multiply by this. This is n into x to the power n minus one when it is multiplied by one, and after that minus one is plus. So this is the n time of x to the power one, and here is n minus one. So power is n here. So now plus one minus if we multiply this, this is minus plus plus minus minus plus. Then we get one minus x to the power n, and this is the answer. You can see. Take a common here n x to the power n. So this is the x to the power n. And uh, this is take a common x to the power n here. So then we have the the factor is here n minus one. Uh, then after this is the n into x to the power n minus one, and this is plus one. Okay, this is the answer.